became a parent at 21. Indeed. And we've indeed. always known love in our house. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's very strange is not the word, but uh, it, it's, it's really heartening. And tonight is a little bit, it, it reaches to my heart to see when I, I married at 21 and you came second and your little baby's in hand. And to see today after mm. certain amount of years, um, you are interviewing me on national TV with your own show. It's a blessing. And I'm very, very proud of it. Um, and because I didn't get what I should get those days, I decided, boy, no way. I have to give it this time. Yeah. So I didn't get it then, and I wouldn't want that to happen to me, so I'm giving it now. Yeah. And it's the same thing I do with my son, my, well, all of you guys, yeah. and more so my boys. There are four of us, by the way. Four kids. Right. You make sure you treat your, well, you know, Steve with his little son. Yeah. Play with him, yeah. find time to be with him, and so forth. Because you kids know, I, I traveled on the road as a salesman for years, but come home in the evenings and find time with my children, yeah. my family. So that is important. What would be um, so don't miss the birthdays, don't miss the first communion, don't miss the... Don't miss that. That's hugely important. important you know? And as much, and as early I said I was always in touch, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. You need to be there. You, you need to be there. And, and the other thing, as an, an extension to that, is don't think that your child is okay when you're not around. I thought she was fine. Physically, she was fine. She never needed anything. Again, I'm repeating myself, but her grandparents looked after her, went to university, everything. I just thought she was okay. And I'm, I found out, and we've spoken about it, I found out that she wasn't. <laughs>